So we're going to pretend like today is Friday, yeah. as if today was actually Friday, when in fact, indeed, it is Wednesday. Yes. So today is Wednesday, but it's really Friday as far as Hollywood's concerned. As far as Hollywood's concerned, today is Friday, the premiere day of all things that premiere on, on Friday. Friday. <laughs> all right, Austin. Well, being it's Friday, you have any big uh, you have any big plans coming up for the rest of the day? Well, you know me. I'm a I'm a big Marvel fan. So okay. tonight I'm gonna be popping the popcorn, sitting down, getting in the living room, flipping on the TV, watch me some Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh yes. Oh, the that debut. comes out today. Debut. The yep. new uh, new Marvel show. Okay. Yep. Well, you know what? I think that works out just fine because we did. We got a lot of pushback from you guys, okay? Yeah, I guess we showed the movie people a little too much love a couple episodes back. The TV fans were rising up. We get you binge watchers. We're going to take care of you because in the cup today, it's all shows coming out in 2021. All right, so first thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> okay, good. It's got be, gotta to be pristine. First thing first, we've got Ozark Season 4 coming to Netflix Jason Bateman, back in action with the money laundering and drug running. This is going to be the final season, though, so so things are going to get a little whack. A little, <laughs> a little whack, all right. Yeah, things are about to get whack, Austin. I mean, I know <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of this show. Ozark has to be one of my favorite TV shows all time. That's right, all time, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay. Jason Bateman, if you're watching the show, big fan. <laughs> big fan, Jason. Um yeah, I couldn't be more excited for this. I mean, it's not announced yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we don't know when the date it's coming out. It's just some point at the, mm -hmm. it, it, within this year. Um, and, man, uh, just the, the action, the grit in the show, it's amazing. I've not seen Ozark. Honestly, it's a must-watch. It's a put on the list. It's a good one. The thing I will say about it, though, is, like, it's like every episode is a movie. Like, I get stressed out watching the show. Like, I don't need any more stress in my life, but when I sit down and watch this show, I am Jason Bateman for an hour of my day. I'm in, I'm in the Ozarks money laundering. That is how good this show is. So is it like, uh, is it like Breaking Bad? Because that's how I felt when I watched that show. I was yeah. like stressing out because I was yeah. like, dude, this guy is going to get caught. It, I, I'm mm -hmm. like sweating over him and it's just a TV show. It's just like that. It kind of oh, keeps you, goodness. it keeps you on the edge of your seat and that's what's something so good about it. But I, I got, you got to stop. You got to cut me off because, you know. Just wait. I, I Just mean, wait till we get to yeah, some of the other stuff of the cut. Well, all right. Then You're going to have to drag me off the, the, the podcast. <laughs> You guys are going to leave, and I'm still just going to be here with an empty microphone just, just talking. talking. Speak <laughs> speaking, speaking of which, speaking of which, things that are going to get you, uh, get you talking, we got Star Wars, The Bad Batch. It's coming out. <laughs> let, 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 let me tell you, Braxton. <laughs> please, uh, please, no, please. Oh, oh. I insist. Thank you, thank you, Braxton. <laughs> Some unprecedented times on the show. I'm doing two in a row. Uh, but I got to. It's Star Wars. So we've got Star Wars The Bad Batch coming to Disney Plus on May the 4th. That's right. Star Wars Day. May the Force be with you. Um, it's a Clone Wars spinoff seeking to build off the Mandalorian success. Group of clones. Genetic mutations. I mean, what more could you ask for? If you liked them in the last season of The Clone Wars and yeah. you liked that awesome ending, you liked that animation, boom, they got your back. I mean, coming up so, with a whole new uh, series. I'm pumped for it. The trailer already got me hyped. Yeah. The Emperor, like, they straight ripped his voice from episode three, and he's like, yo, the Galactic Empire's coming, boys. <laughs> like, I'm pumped for it. I hope we see some Darth Vader. I hope we see some more Emperor. But, yeah, I liked them in the last season. I think they'll be good in the show. The uh, the clones were always my favorite Star Wars yeah. character. I mean, obviously, yeah. I like the bounty hunters. I like the big characters. All that stuff is good, uh -huh. too. But, like, if we were just looking at, like, a generic character or, like, a generic family of characters, the clones were always the, the coolest. They're so cool. They're, I mean, those helmets? Are yeah. you kidding me? It's like Master Chief or, like, yeah. any of the other, like, people like that. Like, they're just, like, awesome looking. <laughs> there is a correlation between being awesome and having a cool helmet. <laughs> there, There is definitely yes. something there. Yes, for sure. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, you think I'm uh, going to be able to read this one? Or am um, I going to have to get back to Star Wars, I'm going to have to steal another one from you. Okay. Um, all right. This is one I'm, I'm a little familiar with. Uh, a little familiar with this one. I Think You Should Leave is the name of the show. It's actually season two. It comes out on Netflix. Well, I think I should too because that's not yeah. Star Wars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm just I'm just we're going to cut it here. We'll see you around. <laughs> um, 
so it's a uh, it's Tim Robinson. He used to be a writer, or he used to be a big part of SNL back in the day. Okay, uh, okay. and then now uh, he got he did like his own kind of spinoff sketch show. Uh, he already did one full season on Netflix, and then I guess the second one's coming at some point uh, this year. Um, definitely like a lot of like dry kind of strange humor, but I mean <laughs> I it like is that uh, stuff. it is it's pretty it's pretty darn funny. It's pretty it's pretty good. It's weird. It's, it's weird yeah. stuff a lot of the time. Um, my favorite scene is there's this just this one little old man that goes, and we'll get again the graphics guy. We'll get him working. Uh, you know, he just goes, "Your mother-in-law." <laughs> and that is like, it is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Well, there you go. The funniest thing I've ever seen. Watch, watch that show. Watch. I think you should leave. Tim Robinson. Okay. Okay. I, I'm excited to talk about this one. Um, so Stranger Things season four coming okay. to Netflix. The nostalgic stylings of Netflix will strike again as the gang heads to Russia with no doubt be an interesting spin on the Cold War. I mean, I'm going to just jump right in here, Austin, and say... As much as I am an old soul and I love the 80s, I love nostalgia, I love all that old-timey stuff, Uh huh. I am not a big Stranger Things fan. Really? Yep. I just, I mean, I've seen like the first three episodes and was like... And that's it? Eh. Really? Hmm. Okay, okay. I, for me, it's not something that I like think about a lot. It's not something that like I'm like super like pumped about, but yeah. I will tell you... The first, like, summer that it came out, mm -hmm. it was, like, in the summer. I just, like, binged it, and it yeah. was done. And every summer, they put out a new season, and for about a week, I'm just, like, <laughs> binging the show. And then after that, it just completely leaves my mind. I right. don't think about it until the next summer. <laughs> they put out another one, and then it's just, like, and then gone. So you just have a Stranger Things week. So it's, yeah. most people, I you know. I not know, like, specific episodes. It's just it. all no. one It's all there. Flash, it's, it's gone. <laughs> For one week, Austin forgets every single thing going on in the world, and it is just Stranger Things. Yeah, that exactly. It. That's it. I mean, hey. It's worth at least that, I it's guess. It me. is. I mean, yeah. it's got a great cast. I mean, I love that Joe Keery guy. Um, yeah. Fun fact, not that y'all care, but that's who I think, uh, I th I think that's, that's who everybody says my celebrity lookalike is. I look like oh, Joe really? Keery. I'll see well, if I can. Were, oh, it's the... With yeah, the yeah, with the scoops of white guy with the big were, long you hair. Hello, you were him for Halloween, right? I was him. Okay, yeah. Exactly. It's her picture. It's her, her picture. picture. <laughs> <laughs> the graphics guy is gonna be doing the most after this today, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It's what we pay him for. Yeah. We pay him nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we have like 2021 written on all these. Because they're all 2020. Yeah, yeah. But just to make sure that everybody oh, knows. Oh, Braxton. We've got the Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> December 2021. It's almost like they planned on me reading this. Okay. Um, Boba is back, baby. And Morrison will be reprising B -B -B. the role. Now with Favreau, the iconic Star Wars character, has his own stories within the Mandalorian timeline. I just got to tell you, Braxton, I don't know what you thought about the last uh, season of The Mandalorian, mm -hmm. but literally, me and my little brother have talked about Boba Fett comeback since we were, like, little kids. Yeah. There, if you've ever read the big uh, visual dictionary thing, there's, like, a, a double-wide <laughs> page of the Sarlacc pit. I can't pit. say I have read the Boba Fett dictionary. Those of you Star that Wars know, dictionary. you know, it's, okay. it's the Star Wars this, visual dictionary. Okay. And there's, like, a double-wide page of the Sarlacc pit, and there's this little zoomed-in part of Boba Fett, and it just, the text mm -hmm. literally just said, like, he's still like kicking and yeah. me and my little brother were always just like he's coming back he's, he's coming, coming back. back and then all these years later finally he coming back all i gotta say is this show is gonna be awesome i yeah. love tamor morrison i love Django, so i'm so glad they brought back the same actor to yeah. play boba and that's and, what yeah. yeah i'm glad too that they got back morrison i think that keeps a lot of the continuity there and then i'm gonna i'm gonna agree with you 100 boba fett hands down one of the coolest characters in star wars history okay yeah so the fact that like the helmet you know, the helmet. The, it's helmet. the helmet. It always comes back to the helmet. Cool helmet. That's it. Uh -oh.